Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is about weaning a two-year-old from breastfeeding. It's a hard video to make and it's not something I was ready to talk about until now um, but about six weeks ago Billy and myself ended our breastfeeding relationship and it was very bittersweet. Um, while I was really grateful for an amazing um, experience and an amazing breastfeeding journey nothing can really prepare you for the end of that chapter and just how emotional it is and how something that I never emotionally connected to during pregnancy or before I fell pregnant would become such a big part of my story um, but anyway you all know how much of a breastfeeding advocate that I am you all know how much it means to me um, and there's lots more videos to come on that topic but for now I just wanted to talk about how we weaned Billy from breastfeeding and how it worked for us. So basically from about 18 months Billy started to gradually reduce his feeds. Um, he was probably only feeding maybe two or three times a day but he would still feed at night pretty much all night long. Um, and I don't really know what happened. He kind of just sort of fell for food. <laughs> he loved food, he loved his grub. Um, I think as food became more appealing and more interesting he was more hungry for food and less hungry for breastfeeding if you know what I mean. So I think breastfeeding became more of a comfort thing um, similar to the way a cup of tea would be for me. I don't need a cup of tea. It's not really adding anything nutritionally to my day but I need a cup of tea um, for my own like mental health. One by one the feeds kind of reduced and before I knew it he was almost two and we were down to just that bedtime feed. Um, he still sleeps in my bed with me a lot of the time but he stopped feeding um, during the night maybe maybe six months ago um, and to be honest there's no secret there I just kind of stopped off not it not offering because I was never offering as such but when he would go to feed I would give him his stody or I'd talk to him or I'd kind of distract him and bit by bit it just kind of gently phased out the nighttime feeding and I didn't expect it to be so gentle at all. So then it was his second birthday, we were down to just his bedtime feed and I was really happy about that. I loved that feed, it was our chance at the end of the day to reconnect, to chat about our day, to have a snuggle. It was probably one of the only times in the day he would stay put in my arms and it was just a special time for us. So. I had zero interest in stopping breastfeeding, I had no plan to stop breastfeeding, I kind of just wanted to let it happen naturally as it had kind of happened until that point. So then one day I woke up um, about six weeks ago and for whatever reason the night before he had stopped, he had not had his nighttime feed and I just thought, I don't know what happened, it was like it hit me like a ton of bricks, it was like this gut feeling that this was the right time to stop breastfeeding and I ignored it for about three days and I was like no 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 this is not the right time definitely not and I just couldn't deal with the thought of our of breastfeeding being gone it was such an emotional journey we it, we struggled at the start I never wanted to breastfeed and it became this amazing thing in my life and something that kind of cured my anxiety in a, re in a weird way because it sort of taught me to be present um, and it was really hard to say goodbye so I don't know I just I just, I couldn't ignore the gut feeling, it kept coming at me, it was like the feeling was telling me that this was probably going to be the most gentle time to stop breastfeeding, that it was going to be the kindest time to him and that if we continue to breastfeed for much longer, which I had no problem with, truly had no problem with, I really enjoyed it, that it might be more difficult on him to stop. So one night I just didn't breastfeed him and I gave him a bottle and that might sound like the most contradictory thing because it's like you spend two years breastfeeding and, and it's all for what to give him a bottle but you see when I went back to work when Billy was 13 months he had to have a bottle and he loved bottles so that was one struggle we didn't have to sort of face uh, bottles were always something he enjoyed but if I was there he wanted to breastfeed um, so bit by bit I just sort of gave him a bottle at night it was a very strange experience for me to be the one giving him the bottle because I never never did that uh, it just always felt a bit weird because I was breastfeeding it just I don't know Peter always gave the bottle. Um, but as the nights went on, the breastfeeding phased out. Um, before I knew it, it was five days, six days, and that was it. He was still asking, he still sometimes asks, and he kind of laughs, and it's kind of a giddy thing. He's like, he calls it yay -yay. so he says yay -yay's. and I say, no, you don't have yay -yay's anymore, and he says, ha ha ha, and he laughs, and it's fine. Um, it was pretty painful 
there's no point denying that it was painful I did not expect it to be so uncomfortable I had a week of absolute agony where if anyone even remotely tipped off me I was just in bits so I had lots of paracetamol and I pretty much wore a bra for a week straight even to bed and it kind of just kept everything kind of secure I suppose so that was kind of the worst part, um, just not knowing that it was going to be so painful and so uncomfortable. Um, but after a week I felt much, much better and I couldn't really believe how physically it all changed. So like this is one of my smallest bras and it like is absolutely swimming on me. Um, I did lose weight, I lost like 51 pounds in the last year and I stopped breastfeeding so these are the things that happen um, but yeah physically I changed a lot I couldn't believe it it was really strange and um, so I'm gonna have to buy a couple of new bras but in terms of how Billy responded to it um, he was never really really devastated which I'm so grateful for because I made a promise to myself when I decided that day to give it a go and just see what happened I said if he responds negatively to this and if he's really upset and if it's really traumatizing for him I'm not gonna stop it just I'm just not it's just how I do things, it's what feels natural to me. I don't like doing things that make him feel insecure, that make him feel scared, that make, that upset him, within reason. Like, I'm not gonna feed my child chocolate because it makes him happy, you know, three meals a day. Um, but I just, it was a trial, kind of, and I didn't want to tell anybody about it. So the only person I told was Peter. And even at that, he knew that if it didn't gonna work out, it was just gonna be something that didn't work out and we we're gonna continue to breastfeed. So after about day five, I kind of accepted that this was happening and I started to tell people, I started to tell my mum and my sister and my friends and stuff and it became real and I went okay this is happening, he's not feeding anymore and when it got to day five I had decided that if he tried to feed again I wouldn't let him because I felt having gone almost a week it would actually be even crueler then to try and wean him again and it would just be totally traumatising to the child and I just didn't want to do that to him. But emotionally it was pretty hard. Um, my friend was telling me that you know there's a huge hormonal shift and it takes a while for your hormones to settle out. That definitely happened for me. I definitely had a week of crying over it, like everything, um, but I expected it and I kind of was prepared for it, so that was okay too. So here are we now, it's six weeks on, and we've officially stopped breastfeeding. He has accepted it. He thinks it's funny now, as I said, he jokes and plays. He still very much touches them. So when I'm in bed beside him or if I'm just putting him to bed or if he's just getting tired, he kind of puts his hand in my top and he, it's a comfort thing. And I'm actually really happy about that because it means he still has a kind of an emotional comfort security connection to there, to that area, to me. And I'm just really happy that that's just, he's okay with that and that's enough right now. I'm just really happy it was a gentle process. I can't really believe that we're no longer breastfeeding. It's It was an incredible over a two year journey. I never thought I'd get to six weeks. So I'm super grateful for the experience. If anybody has any questions about breastfeeding or how to wean your toddler or if I can offer any advice at all, I know every situation is kind of individual and unique, but if I can help at all, I'd be really delighted to. So just leave a comment below. And as always, thank you so much for watching my channel and I will see you in my next video. Bye.